Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here, got my coffee over there. I'm out in front of the new chicken coop with the Easter Eggers, just watching them this morning and listening to this hawk menace my property day after day. Anyhow, something awesome came in the mail for me yesterday and I've already opened it. It is a little card from Grandma Nett, um, Jeanette P. And I'm going to show you it because I think she made it. And inside is an Amazon gift card and look at this best of cluck isn't that adorable can you see that oh that is just so cute and inside she wrote me a really nice note and this card is filled with wishes for a very special day one that brings a world of joy and happiness your way it's also filled with loving thoughts especially meant for you for you're the kind of person happy things should happen to just a little card to cheer you up love and hugs Jeanette thank you Jeanette it did cheer me up I know I think I know what I'm gonna get with this Amazon uh, gift card I'm not positive yet so I'm gonna think it over and I'll let you know hopefully by the end of this video but today I need to find out whether or not I can pull together some supplies I've got chicken wire um, but to make a yard for these chickens that I'm not gonna let free range um, the thing that I need most is the stakes so I may be able to find some sticks Oh, I could go cut down some bamboo, but it's going to be such a mess over there. Um, so I don't know. I think that's going to be something I'm going to look into today. And let me show you my idea. See, I've got this little tray over here providing shade going this way. Um, what I would like to do is do the yard and maybe use this tree as part of the support. And come around in the back behind the nesting box. Um... I don't know if I want to take it around this tree or maybe just put it in front of the tree. Um, I'm not sure. I think, I think I might put it around the tree all the way around this way. That way they can have a little shady place to go. And then maybe around this tree. Oh, I got some sticks right there I might be able to use. They've got to be hard sticks though. Um, maybe not around that tree, maybe just around this tree. It doesn't have to be a totally huge, uh, yard. I don't know. I'm going to have to decide and then maybe find a way to bring it over this way and then attach it to the run somehow. So yeah, attach it to the run, this side over here and then start it over here that'll reduce me having to use a few garden stakes put it around this tree that way I can open this door um, I'm just gonna have to think about this I need to find some stakes first oh my goodness it's not even 11 a.m. and it's already 88 degrees feels like 94 I've just kind of mocked up a little bit of the fence to see how it looks like and I think I'm gonna be able to do this maybe not today but I'm gonna be able to get it done this is where I've started it and I've just kind of wrapped it around there for right now. Just put up one little stake and I've brought it over here and kind of wrapped it around the tree just a little bit. And then it goes from the tree all the way around this tree. Yes, I got to put up more stakes and I'm thinking of maybe trimming <laughs> some of this back. Yeah, I definitely need to pull those weeds out. Um, I don't think I'm going to actually attach it to these trees. I need to put some more stakes here. Another stake here, another stake here, maybe pull some weeds and I can attach it to this tree. And then that takes care of one roll and I've got one more roll that I'm going to be able to take from this tree all the way over to that corner. Um, but I need more garden stakes. I don't, have, I don't have enough of them. I've got a few sticks and whatnot I might be able to use, but... Um, We'll just have to wait and see. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this done today. It's just too hot. And it's cooling down around 5 p.m., but then it's supposed to rain. I pray for rain. But that'll give them, that'll give them a nice shaded area to go to. 
it will give them all of this area over here and all of this area out here in addition to their coupon and uh, you know what's inside there so I think it's better than nothing I think it gives them a little bit more room and I think it'll make a nice little yard for them and I do plan on covering the top of this with deer netting I'm just gonna do that I will cover the whole top um, somehow or the other Yep, I'm going to cover it. I wanted to show you guys what I got with the Amazon gift certificate that the lovely Miss Jeanette P. sent me, Grandma Net. I bought these fly traps. I had one sent to me um, last year around this time, and it is totally full. It works so good. So what I'd like to do is put one outside in the chicken coop somewhere, hang it up, and put one inside the van coop just hang it up in there somewhere because the flies are really bad this year and last year I noticed I did not have many flies around the chicken yard at all but this year I do so these are a must-have I can't wait to get them and hang them up and get them working because boy oh boy these flies are terrible I wanted to share these photos with you guys this photo is of my great grandma and grandpa on my mom's side uh, grandma Anna and Grandpa Andy. My mom told me stories of how much she absolutely loved going over to Grandma Anna's house and apparently Anna raised chickens and she lived I guess off-grid and she never had an indoor toilet. She always had an, an outhouse and here's a little bit closer. This is their wedding photo. Don't you just love those old photos? I think they're so pretty and her dress is so gorgeous. And, and look, at, look at Grandpa Andy just sitting there so stoically. I love it. it. It seems like back in those days, they were not encouraged to smile. Oh, how times have changed. If you look at social media and how people display themselves these days, it's, it's kind of crazy, a big, huge difference. And here is... A little bit more of a close-up look at that pretty bouquet and I think that her wedding dress and her wedding hat is just absolutely gorgeous and then here's a close-up of Grandpa Andy oh yes good-looking fellow so yeah I think that maybe I get my love from homesteading from my mom's side of the family because her she just loved to go spend time with her grandma Anna and um, would just spend hours and hours there and she always just begged to go stay with her so I thought that's pretty cool look at those sweet chickens chilling out there with Papa I always like to put little trays of water out so that they can find water easily and a splash, splash is hell on wheels. You know what? This chicken is just a weird looking chicken and, and the comb is almost non-existent. And he or she acts like a rooster sometimes. So he, he, splash is either a rooster with one of those little tiny combs or maybe just a kind of a, an aggressive hen. Who knows? I mean, time will tell. I know I got le at least one rooster. Oh, look over there. Yeah. In the yard, can't get out. You'll figure it out. <laughs> I need to finish that yard. Now, yep, Rocky is getting bigger. Acting more rooster-like all the time. Let's see if I can get a good shot of Splash in here. Look at that chicken. Look how funky. It's a gorgeous chicken. What do you think? Rooster or hen? <laughs> they all kind of stick around like peas in a pod, this little flock here, so. Oh, goodness, you guys, it's just so hot. Yep, two eggs today. Hooray! So my job for the rest of today is to find the shade and stay cool. I am going to have to go into town because i got to get some more ice definitely can't live without the ice um, it just makes my life so much better if I just have ice <sighs> please God let it rain anyhow that's all I got for you guys today see you in the next video
thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.